Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, it's your boy who's Hendo, and we back talking sports, stay looking for my podcast, coming soon, Michigan uh, Boy Podcast, Um, I got a, um, a video coming up with my brother DBZ, shout out to DBZ, we're trying to get that together, and I also have another um, channel that I'm going to be doing a uh, um, show on. It's actually going to be about black history and stuff like that. But right now, I'm all the way in on, you know what I'm saying, who is Hendo? Because who am I? I'm nobody. I'm just a I'm just a 30-year-old dude that's talking basketball, that always loves basketball, actually wanted to be a basketball player, but because of me having epilepsy and cerebral palsy and everything, that didn't happen. And because I didn't grow up big enough. But I've always loved sports, always loved basketball. I've been my favorite sport forever. Larry Bird, shout out to Aram. This one for you. Let's get it. Shooting 39% in game three-pointers on the year. He has one minute, 25 balls. It's always nice to hit the first one, but Larry uh, not being able to get in the groove yet. Got the big two-point ball, however, at the end. Well, this is your guy, Rick, and he's always been able to perform well under pressure, and he usually picks up steam with these rats. Well, there's two in a row, three in a row. Let's see how many he can come up with. Four, including the two-pointer. Eight points for Bird now. He's got it. 30 seconds left on the 60-second shot clock. And he's got the rhythm going right now. And Bird's got 13 points with 20 seconds remaining. Well, he's not getting to the rack too quickly, but he's able to get a lot of shots out of him very quiet, fast. That's because of the groove he gets in. That set shot, he doesn't waste a lot of effort. 18 points for Bird, 8 seconds left. 19 and counting, make it 20. And he gets the two-pointer. Unofficially, 23 points for Lane. Killer. Bad boy, bro. And the thing is, he was what, Bird was what, 6'9", 6'10", and his shot, his shot was so kind of tough to, to block, bro. He's shooting from back here. My brother, shout out to my big brother, Ronald. He shoots like that, bro. He used to shoot kind of like this, and, like, it's hard, especially when they been there. When you tall, to Larry Bird, about 6'9", 6'10", and so he... And he's not even really jumping for real, but he got probably long arms, so he already shooting at a seven foot apex. Larry Bird was a man, he was a man. Listen, he had that dog in him, he had that demon in him for real. If it's one person that I know that Michael Jordan can't talk shit to, it's Larry Bird because he never. Even though it was unfair, he had terrible crackhead teammates and shit. And he basically, that was basically carrying a team. You feel me? But he still lost. You know what I'm saying? And Bird was one of the most impactful players ever. Rookie year coming in, they go from 20 some wins to 50, 60 some wins. Larry Bird was one of the most underrated players, too. I think Larry Bird, Dwayne Wade, Tim Duncan, and I'm going to add Kobe to that list now. Ten years ago, I probably wouldn't have said Kobe was underrated. I would have been like, yeah, I think he – I think people – that's when people really started, you know what I'm saying, kind of really shitting on Kobe. But now, yes, he's definitely underrated. But Larry Bird, highest scoring three-point shootout, he was balling on that boy, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all put in the comments, where do y'all have Larry Bird? I have Larry Bird tied fifth all time with LeBron James. I think I'm waiting till LeBron actually retire to really rank LeBron. You feel me? He has went from, I'm going to be real, I had LeBron number 10 before 2016. After 2016, he moved up to number five. I ain't going to lie. I moved him all the way up. That number 2016 one, that moved him all the way up for me because I'm going to be real. I had LeBron 10th before 2016. Then 2020, I moved him to fourth. 
But then I thought about Duncan, how I was disrespecting him and revisited his career for a whole three months straight. And now I have LeBron James fifth with Larry Bird. Larry Bird, I've always had Larry Bird in my top ten, but I had him nine, then I had him eight, then nine again. But now I didn't put Larry Bird as high as five. Just because uh, he was so much more clutch than I thought he was, he was – I had the, the, the notion of Larry Bird was a three-point shooter. Larry Bird could – Larry Bird – could score, could score really well. He was one of the best scorers and one of the best shooters, just period. But no, Larry Bird was a phenomenal-ass passer, a good defender, a phenomenal-ass rebounder, and one of the one of the coldest trash talkers in history, bro. So I, I underestimated Larry Bird, so... I definitely have Larry Bird top five now. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. This has been Who is Hendo. I'm out. Peace.